guys so in this uh, video um, in the previous videos we have tags uh, route the home page so let's start with the some data some time data so I will say data folder in this folder I will say um, PRO PRO BUCDS dot JS okay so what I'm going to do is const uh, PRO BUCDS and then I will make array okay under the array I will make a uh, object data like um, so I will not type uh, these kinds of data I will just copy so I will copy the data um, first I need to expose okay um, expose Uh, module.export not export uh, module module.export export equal to products okay this products so inside this I will um, copy some data to to show demonstration how we will interact how we will work with the data okay so I'm copy So I, I, I have copied some data um, like name, image, uh, this image from online image URL and description, uh, price, count and stop radian, never a review, something like this, uh, copies of data the same. So um, we don't have ID here so I will add ID for the first one like one okay. So the other, the rest, uh, I'm just going to show you text. So I will not add like, ID for other items. Uh, we will use this data um, later. That's why I'm, we don't need ID anymore um, when we use this later. So for now, I will add just ID for the first item, okay, of the products array. So what I'm going to show you is we'll go back to our index. I will close other. So here, We'll say PR, uh, API, okay, API slash PRDUCDS products. So uh, instead of send, I will say just JSON. So this JSON will be will be the products CDS. Uh, I will say const PRDUCDS products equal to PRDUCDS. So this product we need to import right now. Um, index to find doesn't know which products that we are going to fetch. So we will say require i to you, i to you, i r e require say under the data folder, okay, data, and then we will have products. So this products will be called from here. Uh, say I I don't need this one. Yeah. So after I just sent this array list, yeah. Let me go and check. Uh, cannot get. Oh yeah. We need to say ABI select products. ABN select products. As you see, um, the list of product is here as a JSON, but I don't want like this, so I will say um, uh, GS and JSON Chrome extension. So JSON format or Chrome extension, you will see here. So I will add extension and then let me go back and refresh. As you see, um, now it's JSON format like this. Okay, so we have ID1 here. So if I want only one item, so like we will say APN tax, APN tax route. Okay, if I want to get only one item, I can say very easy. So products and then ID like this. So we were um, we need to validate um, the 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 requested ID. Okay. So the requested ID of this one should be uh, validate and then send back the the, the the product not products okay so I will say const PRODUCD product equal to PRODUCDS okay this array list dot find so we will find so the, 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 there are multiple items in the products array list that's why we need to um, we need to loop like this whenever um, whenever product okay like, okay, I will say products. In the products, I relate, I will get one of a product, one of the products ID, okay? ID 
equal equal. Uh, we'll say request request dot params dot id. Okay, so this param dot id is request from this uh, URL. So we will validate this request URL will be equal equal to this product list will be returned as a JSON like this. Okay, so let me go and text. So we have one here. So select and then one. So as you see, only one item is returned. So uh, we can do like this. In the future video, I will show you uh, with the mango DBs. But right now we will connect with the mango DB. So I, I will comment um, this one. So this is a test route. So I will, I will delete to make uh, everything clear. So I will go and paste under below. So here we will contact, uh, we will connect with the mango DB. In order to connect, we will say const m o n t o o s e mangoes equal uh, require um, mangoes. Okay. So we have um, imported the mango package and then well, what I'm going to do it, I will contact. I will contact with the mango. So we'll say C O N T A C T C O N C O N N E C T contact db here. So I will use this um, this cont variable mangoes m o n t o o s e dot c o n n e c t content okay so uh we will say um if it is i have got content that dot then uh i will console dot log okay so with the with the s o n e console dot log uh db connect like this db connect that okay so uh if it is error like dot then we will say if it is err error uh we will use arrow function and we will um we will log the error okay so uh but you we need the uri here in, uh, to be able to connect mango db but we don't have one so i will go and create the uri for this so we will go back and then we will find mango db mango db uh, not logo mango db so uh, here get started mango db so now I will sign in with my Google account so now I have a uh, sign in so I'm going to uh, create the database I have already signed in why I need to sign again Yeah, okay. Now I am in that um, console. So here, um, what I'm going to do, I can create a new project. Okay. So and a new project, I, I will say uh, EACT, React Note, uh, React Note app. Okay, React Note app. And then uh, project owner, you can add a member. So I will say I, I will add member by myself. And then uh, we can create our um, database here. So first of all, um, we, will, we will choose the free one and then we'll say AWS, okay, and you can choose the region as you wish and then we'll say create. So um, here you need to memorize the username and the password, okay. So for now I will say this is my username, so I will go and uh, comment my username and then I will copy my password and then I will comment here because we need this uh, username and password later so after that uh, in this year IB address we will add like um, global IB address 0.0.0 .0, .0, .0 uh, slash 0 and then this will be like GLO BA at global in order to um, assess the database in our um, in our projects locally so after I add it's now added so um, yeah we need to create user and then we have added our global so we, we can say finish and close okay so go to overview so now we have a database here under the database we can say content 
So connect, I mean, no connect. So here, uh, you can choose Mango DB for VS Code, and you have other options as well. For me, I will copy this URL by choosing Mango DB VS Code. So uh, I will go back and I will say here. So Mango DB. So this is the username we have copied before, and this is the password. So we will pa we will paste our password here and uh, after doodle and then we can use um, this db i would say um, database via note app database and yeah the database name is real note app so i can copy this one and uh, in the browse collection we don't have anything right now so i can um, paste under select okay so I will copy this URL and then I will paste here. So as you see, uh, DB connected. Okay. So after we have paste our URL, DB is connected. If not, it will not be connected. But if you use like this, it is not good for security reason. So we will move the URL under the .env file. Okay. So I will say M O N G O S E Mango. Uh, db underscore url whatever it is you can give the name okay so i will copy this parameter uh, this variable name under the dot env file and then i will say process dot env dot this one okay so it will be stay connected the same thing <coughs> yeah excuse me so we have connected our db what i'm going to do is um so we will see in the next video um, we will see next video how we will do um, um, the, the, the model of the mango dbs like products user and we will add the data into the products something like this okay see you in the next video